Hi, I'm professional sports handicapper Ross Benjamin. It's Friday, August 7th, time for another edition of my free pick segment. Before we get to my free pick, uh, yesterday we bounced back. After seven straight winning days in a row, that streak ended on Wednesday with my paid selections. Uh, as I went 0-2 on Wednesday, but yesterday I released the Arizona Diamondbacks minus 106 uh, as a 10-star top play, and they cashed in with a 4-3 win over the Houston Astros, so we're back on track. Uh, that makes uh, eight of the last nine days profitable ones, and that's what my paid selections, and you can get those paid selections, folks, whether you want them on a daily basis um, or on, in subscription packages. Um, again, go to rbwins.com. That's my personal website or rossbenjaminsports.com. Whichever you prefer, it's the same landing page. Uh, there you'll find my daily selections. Uh, also on the right-hand side of the page, you'll see weekly packages, which include everything I release for an entire seven days for $149. Uh, also, uh, you could get my uh, monthly package, which is $4.99, and that's every selection I release in every sport over the next month. And when you uh, purchase one of those packages, when that package expires, you must be making a profit, or I will extend your prof or extend your package. Excuse me until you do so. Again, uh, be sure to if you haven't subscribed already to the OSGA YouTube channel, which is my video channel right here. Um, I would encourage you to do so. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. It's 100% free. There's no obligations attached. You'll be notified right away uh, when any of my sports betting videos get released, including my daily podcast with Ron Raymond called The Raymond Report, um, which is a half-hour show. And uh, we go through each. Uh, today, we went through every Major League Baseball game and give you, give you some betting tips and educational um, training on if you're new to sports betting. And so I would highly encourage you to listen to that show and view that show as well. That's the Raymond Report right here on the OSGA YouTube channel. Folks, don't forget, give us a like, give me a like, give us a like at the end of each video. It's just a very encouraging sign for us, um, and it shows your appreciation for the hard work we put into these videos. All right, let's get to the free pick for today. It comes in the game between the Reds and Milwaukee, a game that will be played at Miller Park in Milwaukee. And currently, as we speak, the Cincinnati Reds are a minus 115 money line favorite on the road against Milwaukee, who was a real good home team the last couple of years. But uh, anyway, and then you look at this, this is sort of a contrarian approach for me because the Reds have lost three straight games. As a matter of fact, they were shut out in each of their last two losses. However, those losses in that lack of offense all came against the Cleveland Indians. And boy, oh boy, the Indians uh, pitching this year has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, is starting pitching and their bullpen. Uh, look, their bullpen over the last seven games is 0, 0.00 ERA. They haven't allowed a home run all year, and they have like a 135 ERA on the season. That's Cleveland's bullpen. So I wouldn't, my point being is not to talk about another team in a matchup um, that doesn't relate to them, but I would not put a lot of stock in the fact that Cincinnati uh, couldn't score many runs in that series against Cleveland. Uh, and secondly, they lost 13 to nothing yesterday at Cleveland. But look, folks, that was a three nothing game going into the bottom of the seventh in uh, Cleveland, who had struggled to score all year long, had a 10 run seventh inning. Uh, very unlikely to happen. It did. Uh, the Reds' bullpen continues to struggle. The good thing for the Reds' bullpen is they're going to have a starting pitcher today in Trevor Bauer, who is used to going deep in games. As a matter of fact, he has done so in the first two outings, going six and a third or more innings in each of those um, appearances. And in those two starts, a 0 0.68 ERA and a 0 0.53 whip, in addition to a almost seven to one strikeout to walk ratio. He struck out 20 men in his first two starts and an unbelievable ERA and whip as well. So uh, Eric Lauer gets a start today for the Milwaukee Brewers and uh, Lauer is making his first start of the season. And if anything, Cincinnati, who has really leaned heavily on the long ball this year, 
it, it seems like probably over 80% of their runs they've scored this year were a result of a home run. I, I don't have that exact statistic, but I think if you dig deep into that, you'll find my claim to be true or very close. Okay. So um, having said that, uh, they have done better against left-handed pitching this year as opposed to right-handed pitching, uh, even though uh, they've only faced three left-handed starters. But something to factor into the equation and couple that with Eric Lauer making his first start this season. Also, uh, the Cincinnati Reds, like I alluded to, they lost 13 nothing yesterday. Uh, but since the beginning of last year, the Reds have gone a very profitable 17-7 and seven following a game in which they allowed eight or more runs. I'm going with the Cincinnati Reds here on the road as a minus-115 money line favorite over Milwaukee. Until tomorrow, uh, I'd like to wish each and every one of you all the best with your picks, and God bless.